Alrighty, folks. Hello, and welcome to Auto Club Speedway in beautiful and slightly cloudy Fontana, California. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you ever miss a live broadcast, or uh, if you happen to be missed this live broadcast and you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. That, uh, that address for my uh, full race archive is youtube.com slash c slash John Theodore. I'm starting 18th tonight in the number 27. This is the SSCA Ad Pro Challenger Series. The um, of the stage is on. We had a driver's meeting. It is a 100 lap race. 25, with stage breaks at laps 25 and lap 50, where points are awarded to the top 10. So, starting 18th, I will uh, definitely be trying my darndest to get up into the top 10 in this right. first stage okay. and try to get some of them stage Don't points. Uh, got a little bit of a point gap to cover to try to make it into the playoffs in this series. Be ready. Don't jump the start, don't jump the start. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Green flag. Green flag. They don't like lane change before the line, so just kind of keep it clean. Momesh, thank you for dropping the broadcast link in there. Much appreciated. That's why I put it there for you guys, is so you guys can use it. Have the uh, race up side by side with my onboard. I think that that's cool. That was a big part of the appeal in uh, run it, doing league racing in the first place. Was that there would be a uh, TV style broadcast that I was a participant in. Down to the inside. Water outside. Clear high. Clear high. All right. You know, I mean, the whole reason I got into this stuff is that I'm a race fan, too. So, you know, I like watching race broadcasts, and it's kind of... Ooh. Sorry, Ted. They really checked up earlier and harder than I expected them to there. I don't think that that little bit of contact did any damage to us or him. Being fast in qualifying is one thing. Being fast in the race is something else entirely. Just trying to close in on these guys. Lift and break. Let it roll through the center and we got it picked up the throttle. Trying to take her a little bit easy on the tires here early. We're already up to 15th. Top 10 is in sight. Plane higher. Lifting and braking. Just touching the, the brake pedal, not too much. Get back on that gas. Get it driving off that rear, right rear. Right on the back bumper of the five. Look a little high, look low. We're down to the inside of him, going into turn one. At this point with the tires like this, still being new, the inside line definitely has an advantage. It'll be interesting to see if that high line comes in as the tires wear out towards the end of this run. Uh, lap four right now, so three laps completed. Coming to the completion of lap four, there will be 21 laps to go still in this stage. basically riding with Mark Clewell right now as we're trying to get to the front. We got a blinker. That's not good. He's back into the gas, drive it off that right rear and tuck into the draft. Clewell is uh, blitzing out front. Uh-oh. 18's into the wall. Just a scrape. 
Shouldn't hurt him too bad, but that definitely hurts your momentum down the straightaway. Outside. Still outside. Clear. Got clear of him. And we've got a run on the 86 as well. Outside. 42.359. Has two cars in uh, one straightaway there. That's pretty good. Qualifying is just one lap. It's a totally different beast from the race. Clear up top. So who we got leading right now? Gerald Campbell's up to fourth. Gabriel Wood's leading. Gabriel Wood is one of the dominant drivers in this league for sure. So, if I want to start contending for wins, he's the one that I'm chasing. Him, Gerald Campbell, those guys are uh, quick. There's a little bit of that drive off the right rear that I've been wanting. That we were lacking in practice. So, if I can just continue trying to work in that kind of feel as I wheel this thing around these uh, corners particularly up off the corners and get a little bit of speed, that'll be good. Setup is definitely tight, that's why I dialed so much front brake bias out of the car, because I want to be able to tap the brakes and try to get a little bit of rotation on the back end of the car around. You don't use a lot of brake here, so really all that the brake is is for setting the front end and trying to get the back to rotate a little bit. Closing in on uh, Cluel for uh, 11th now. And that top 10 is within reach. Again, I really want to just at least get into the top 10 so that I can get some stage points. Obviously, then, you know, once I'm into the top 10, every position's worth a point. So I want to rack up as many of those, but those stage points really make a big difference. And I'm going to need to rack up as many of those as I can to, to uh, make the playoffs at the uh, end of the regular season here. Since I'm, uh, after missing the first couple rounds, the first couple weeks of the season, I'm starting in a little bit of a hole to some of these guys. I feel like once I get into the playoffs, you know, then it's a whole other ball of wax. I can race with these guys and it'll be a different ball game. You got it, Mark. You got it. Got to get there first, though. So Mark bus breaks his way into the top 10 under Judd Danielson. I've been gaining on Mark and uh, following him as he marches through the field. He started right in front of me and you can feel the tires are really starting to go now. And I have been using up that right rear a little bit so it's getting a little bit touchy on corner entry or on corner exit. Enough, John. <laughs> all good, man. I was just taking a little peeksy doodle there, dude. Y'all good? Still there. I'm telling you guys, part of branding is coming. You know, when you got a good, when you land on a good phrase or something like that, you stick with it. Sometimes in life, you just need to take a little peeksy doodle and it might just work out for you. So we've gotten the 11th spot. Following Mark Lewell and the next couple guys there. Seems like uh, I've been reeling those guys in, so if I can just keep consistent lap times. Top 10's definitely within reach. That's a great start to this race, starting as far back as I did to, uh, you know, if we can get up into the top 10, that'd be great. <laughs> right rear is really starting to give out, though.
Just got to get it through these corners a little bit better. Maybe abuse the right rear a little bit less than I have been. Seven tenths back of Cleo right now. like they want to go three wide off of two. Interesting. This is where the positions start to get a little bit tougher. The guys that you're racing with are faster and also I mean you know they, they know that those stage points are valuable too so they're not going to be as quick to <laughs> as uh, what am I say as generous in yielding as the uh, guys were in the back of the pack that we were working through earlier. But with them battling side by side, that helps me out a lot. I'm able to eat into big chunks of their advantage just by letting this thing roll through the corner. Nice and easy. We're closing in big time. Down low, get that draft off of Kluwell's car, that's 65. Number 65, Matt Black, Ford Mustang of Mark Kluwell. <laughs> That is a cool look. Ooh. These three are really getting racy. We got a Toyota, a Camaro, and a Ford in this group, and I'm bringing my It's Water I Swear Camaro into the mix, too. Looking down low, just making the front straightaway as short as I can. And back up high, a little bit of brake, get the arc exactly like I want it. Pick up the throttle, drive it off the corner, off that right rear. Right on the bumper of the 23 now. Taking a peek to the outside, see if there's anything there. Oh, oh, they're getting out of shape. <laughs> 24 got a little loose. I don't know if there was contact there or not, but they avoided some big time potential disaster there. 23 and 65 look like they might be teammates. I don't know if they are or not. But they've got the same look of their uh, race cars. Outside. Probably not teammates because they're running different manufacturers. But, yeah, they might be. There isn't the same kind of manufacturer tie in that you actually have in NASCAR series. So you could have teammates running different manufactured cars. Ah, uh, 23 was able to hold me off for now. Like I said, this is where it's going to be getting difficult to make some of these passes. Ground off the uh, right front tire a little bit there. Got in the corner a little bit too hard. <laughs> these tires are starting to scream and we're only going to have seven laps left in this stage now. These laps have clicked off. We've been having a little bit too much fun. And time flies when you are having fun. <laughs> Things dancing. So Cluel is able to clear both of these guys. Getting sideways on me coming off these corners. And Judd Danielson in the 17, he's closed back in too. 
Not what I wanted to see in my rearview mirror. Any little mistake now is going to cost us a spot. And that's not what we want. Track position is always at a premium in these races. Because passing can be so difficult. Got to back up turn one? All right. Backed up my three a little bit there and that helped. I got a good run off the corner and Clue was into the wall. Man, those rear tires are crying, are crying for help. They have served their purpose and they want to they want to go off the tar and into the tire graveyard. I just need to ask a couple more good laps out of them. Got four laps to go in this stage here. Sideways. It's three tenths. Judd Danielson is closing in on me. Takes another peek. Nothing there. Oh, it's getting sideways off four. Not the only one who's getting loose coming off of these corners. 24 was loose. There are three tents in front of me, both of them. And they are side by side. Maybe I can use their non-optimal lines as they battle side by side to try to gain something on both of them. Closing in, it's now uh, two laps to go. 41's pitting. Nobody uh -oh. said anything. What are you talking about, Pitcher Flood? Two laps to go in the stage. Two laps to go for. Whatever you do. What do you want me to do? Hold your hand, Pit. Coming for a penalty. Coming in for a penalty. Penalty? How did the 04 get a penalty? Pitcher Flood. Nobody made it announcement. That's all I'm saying. I'm good. I'm back here anyway. Yeah, Robert, it's in the rulebook, man. Put the close two out for it. All right. Okay, I don't, I know that. Last so lap on the stage now. now. Again, that'll be five. Thank you. I'm not announcing it all this season. I can't help you, but you don't call me. And I was coming in at 23. Uh, never, never mind. No big deal, no big deal, no big deal. No big deal. Inside, inside. I've got position. Might be able to make top 10 and get stage points. We'll see. Uh, nope. He's going to beat me to the line. Dang it. <laughs> All right. So close. <laughs> Dang it. Just missed it. Just yeah, missed it. My radio sound bad. Right, got the car boys staying up. Pit road is closed. That's all right. Lining up behind the 24. Fuel and tires. And a tear off. Sorry, boys. Can you hear me up front there? 
I lost track of what I was. Really wanted that one stage point. Oh well. Good racing there at 24 at the end of that stage. Now you barely hang on to us to lose. Likewise. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see the pass made all race on the outside yet. Hey, Kyle, oh, yeah. I was serving a penalty. Come on, man. Sorry, that's the rule book. What the <laughs> Thank hell? Thank you, Mom. I know Come you were. Checking out back stretch, guys. Back stretch, one and three. Michael, you wrote it in the rule book. This, this is common knowledge. We will penalty if you enter a closed pit. I don't play favorites here. Why are you going to penalize me again for serving the same penalty? Jesus, somebody wants to hear the one. Open. All right. Looking for the number 27 pit board. I'm gonna get black, or I'm gonna get disqualified from the race. What kind of sense does that make? Maybe you should add a little insert there in your rule book that you got. Says if you're serving a penalty, you can get away. Until that's in there, you're serving it. All right. 27. There's my uh, pit board. Right on the nose there. Uh-oh, Clue will slip through his pit stall, so that'll be a spot for me. <laughs> Double penalty, it's good. I mean, I don't know how he got the first penalty, but guys are playing that games at goes. the end of the stage. All right, let's see. So I think we might have gained a spot in there. Should have gotten a spot on the 65 because he slid through. Um, can't Im Did someone take two tires actually there? I can't imagine. Oh, he got the first penalty because, oh, did he spin through and Please clip pit three. road? That's rough. If, if that's why he got the first penalty, that's that's that is harsh. Um, and he's a lap down. I mean, all he has to do though is he'll. The end of line penalty doesn't matter if he's a lap down. The thing you don't understand. It's not kind of leash. You can't just automatically make up a new rule on the fly. I don't understand why he's squawking. He would be at the end of the line anyway. So, unless I'm misunderstanding something, he got an end of line penalty, and if I'm seeing the scoring correctly, he's one lap down, he would have been at the end of the line anyway. So I don't even understand, like, it's not even an additional penalty. It, it does nothing. Oh, he's spending he would have been in front of the pack, he would have been eligible for the wave round. By giving him the EOL, then he's not eligible for the wave round anymore. That's why. That makes sense. Ten four. Then I understand why he's a little miffed. <laughs> So there you guys have it. That's the explanation for everything. I don't have it. EOL is end of line. Do I get a lane choice? So restarting in ninth. Yeah. So yeah. that's going to be in the top ten, in in position for stage points. Now yeah. I need to hold that Obviously spot and try to get some this in this uh, second stage. Answer. We've used one set of tires. We have three sets left. Three. You guys got to look at the drivers a little bit better. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. I'm going to try to get high, uh, even higher into the top ten. I tell you what, it's Sorry, it's a lot harder to pass these the guys up here in the top ten the than it was getting control. by the getting through the rest of the pack, for sure. That's why I said you got to listen to the drivers meet now, whenever that just was big I'm not fussing, I'm just saying you guys have got to pay attention better. Uh, 
five sets, including the set that I started on. So the set I started on is one set. I just pitted there. That's two, and I have uh, three left. Well, as long as the 04 doesn't play any more games, uh, now he's two laps down. I don't. Know. I do feel bad for him that he's gotten his race messed up, but it sucks. So here we go, restarting in ninth. What up, Duco G? I didn't oh, see you were in well, here. How's it going? That's great. So restarting ninth place. One to green, there's gonna be, it looks like when this goes, there'll only be 20 laps left in this um, stage. Yeah, rules are rules, but I mean, you know, you, Rules are rules and they're there for a reason. You like to see th th things settled on the track and you hate to see guys get messed up because of rules, but you know, tis what it is. All right, restarting in ninth. We are going to zend it and try to uh, get a few more spots, get up to the front and hopefully have something to say about this finish here. You're ready to go. Pace cars in. Green flag. <laughs> Spotter has noticed that I'm in top 10 as well. Forgot to check my tire where we'll get on the back straight here and do just that. Nineteen cars looking aggressive. Nineteen and the eleven are looking aggressive. Caution. Eleven got a spot on me there. Wonder what the caution's for. Alright. Wow. So even though my right rear was what was crying there, the right front had also taken a lot of abuse. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Still in ninth place. That was an interesting restart there. Oh, good deal, Duke OG, man. That makes me feel good. Reminds me of my college days, watching random stuff in the background where I was doing my uh, college work, so that's cool. Stands on 86, car inside. Uh, they can be lined up behind the uh, uh, Alright. That was some intense racing there to start off that stage. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mark. Fair I enough. Happened there. I saw you coming up, but I was... Oh, nice, down, Duke OG. Congrats uh, in advance. I'm assuming that you've got all your credits and everything, so you're going to make it. So congratulations yeah. on that. That's a big achievement there. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. Get that start earning towards that first wheel. You already got your uh, got your job lined up. The road is open. I mean, some people might use a set here. I don't think it's a good idea, personally. But if they want to use a set, they are welcome to. I want to save it. I want to have two sets for that last stage. So how many... We got, what, five pitting right now, it looks like? Man, Zero they have more. Got the lucky dog. I can tell here. Yeah, five pitting. Some of the guys in the back are pitting. Um, we'll see. Those are only a couple laps on those tires. 
I don't know how big of an advantage we're even going to have. That seems like a real waste. Nice, man. What uh, what what are you getting your degree in? Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah, you'll you'll do all right. You'll you'll have enough money for that wheel in no hey, time. Uh, Kyle, Kamer. What's up? You see, you're smart. You you picked a you, you right picked a degree that would uh, up last time. make you some money. <laughs> I uh, I majored in theater. Theater. I did uh I did not pick a degree that would make me money. Uh, it should be seventh actually. When because uh, there were two guys who pitted in front of me, so I should be up in seventh right now. I don't know. I can't imagine that the tires are too badly worn. Yeah, pretty bad too, Chris. So, I'm not even sure why those guys pitted. It just seems like a waste of a set, and they've only got 15 laps to make them count to get back to where they yeah, were yeah. at the end of the stage. We'll see. I'll be really impressed if, uh, you know, who was it, the 84, the 18, 84 and the 48, I think, might be the first ones on tires so we'll see <laughs> Twitter yeah I'm on Twitter uh, Twitter uh, my Twitter is at John a Theodore John underscore a underscore Theodore just like the uh, twitch handle you guys on two to go oh he didn't get fuel Thank well you. then he was really lucky that that caution came out because he would have been in bad shape. So did he use a set of tires then, or did he just gas up? Yeah, I think I'm going to start working on... Uh, no, Kyle, I got me. No, he's not. Man, the well, they should, they should know on the... Uh, they should be able to show that on the broadcast. Yeah, they can tell whether the car got jacked or not. I think the zero zero double zero is playing a little bit of games with us all. And I thought I saw that a couple of guys that looked like took two tires. Maybe I could be I could be wrong on that, but hey, hey thank you, Duke OG, much appreciated. Thank you for tossing a nickel into my tip jar, much appreciated. You notice the tip jar looks like a scotch glass too, so I'm drinking out of a scotch bottle. I got a tip jar that looks like a scotch glass, a little tumbler glass there. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, Mama. Thank you. I got the car in the box. I like the color of your car. Cars in the box. It's clean. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. We just want to keep the car in the box and get to the end clean. Good things happen. Beware. Thanks, Robert. We got to do One, two, green. Robert, take a Music to my right ears. I, lo I love this so point in the race. So get tense. You've been relaxing a little bit. Yeah, right in front, you still got damage. Stretch out the neck, get refocused. I mean, it's the calm inside. before the storm. Drop that car down back into second gear. And then get focused and try to uh, make up a few more spots here. There you go. Come down on the car. Seventy miles per hour is clearly the pace car speed. Easy on the brakes all day. Nice clean restart. <laughs> Here we go. Oof. Nineteen got a good restart on the outside there. He actually beat was in front of me when we went across the line. Still there. He 
He's hanging on the outside down the uh, straightaway. He's actually inching in front of me. And I have to really send it into turn three. Clear. He got clear of me on the outside. All right. Pulling behind him and we'll follow him for right now. We're in eighth. Got Cluel right behind us in that 65. He's the one we were following all through stage one. Now he's following us. He made a mistake on his pit stop. That was maybe a little bit too easy through three and four there. Not gonna chop back a uh, clue here. But if I can hang a tough on the outside, I will. Whew. Had to lift a little bit. Got back to the gas a little bit too soon. Top groove is coming in a little bit as the track rubbers in. I think we'll have a top groove by the end of this race. <laughs> 17 was sending it in that turn. We slip back to 10th, not where I want to be. Here comes tires too. That's the 84 and the double zero. Definitely uh, coming with some speed. So I want to get in. You know, I need to start working my way back through these guys. I need to stay in front of those tires. Racing's all about gaining advantages throughout the race and then uh, unleashing those advantages on your competition. Track position, that's an advantage. Extra set of tires in the bank. An advantage. You <laughs> lost the gate. Sorry about that, but I had to see you coming. All right. The stage is almost over already. We only got nine laps to go. I couldn't see. I know. Currently sitting in the tenth spot for a stage point. John had to check up, so. I didn't want to run Josh over. I appreciate that. Good call out. Thank you. Appreciate that. This is ending it down into three. Pick up the gas off four. They are all fanned out. Three wide. Intense battles for position going on. Man, I can see that leader. Can almost reach out and touch them, but there's such a cavern and a whole lot of cars between me and that spot. Went backwards a little bit at the start of this stage. Gonna have to try to. Uh, <laughs> okay, he just got gas. That's good to know. I was going to say, because I, I would have expected that if they would have gotten tires, that they would be blown by us. <laughs> it might, it might. I haven't hit anything yet. So, I'm in 10th.
There we go. Rolling that. Roll it through the center of that corner. Get that gas. Sorry about that, dog. Pick I back up. And they are knotted up. This is a pack right here. I'll just go down to the apron here. Coming down to the end of this stage. Everyone's going to try to get every point they can. Woohoo! <laughs> Fool and I both hanging our back ends out. Wag that tail. Oh, Kanducha, you have too much faith. David Perry won. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family here. Uh oh, 24's in the wall again. caught that wall a couple times. That'll uh, Clear high. that'll affect the aerodynamics of that car for sure. Double zero is quick, we know that. Oh, he's getting squirrely. Four laps to go. Go there. Drove that in maybe a little bit too hard. Clear, clear, clear. All right. Now he's going to try to go to the inside. I gotta hold him off. I need this stage point Go there. more than he does. Son of a gun. All right, regroup, I'll try to get back. My favorite uh, NASCAR driver right now is Daryl Wallace Jr., Bubba Wallace. There we go, got some momentum coming off that corner. Got another run on the double zero. Gonna try to make this one stick this time. Last lap of the stage. Lewis loose. Still out there. Still outside. Still out there. Got him. All right, we're going to get one stage point. Top ten. <laughs> that was some good racing. Come around the fan car. Whew! <laughs> One stage point. Yeah, that was sweet, Josh. Good run. Lying up behind the 24. 
Yeah, there was a lot of action going on right around there. Now we gotta, you know, get some better track position here, and uh, I need a top five or something like that for the end of this race. But we made it through the first two stages with a uh, clean race car. <laughs> that was a. We thought it was intense to watch. You should try doing it. <laughs> you guys thought it was intense. <laughs> that was fun. That's why I like this league. I love this league. Because <laughs> these guys know how to race. It's hard racing. It's clean. Um, yep, now it's time to get a good clean pit stop. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Alright. Drop it into second gear. Alright. Uh, I prime. I pretty much only do oval racing. I may. I'm gonna start maybe doing some road course racing. Um, I don't know that I would. So, Kenduchi, I would like to see it maybe in the really long, um, races like NIS and stuff like that. I could see that benefiting, but uh. A lot of the A fixed and stuff like that, they're just too short. Stages wouldn't really be useful in those. But definitely in NIS fixed, I think that they could do it. Vertifilo, how's it going? Welcome. Glad that you guys are entertained. Someone stayed out. I think you do get bonus points for uh, leading laps in this league, so that would be the only reason why I could think that anyone would actually stay out. Ah, uh, Gabriel beat me out of uh, the pits, though. Barely. I didn't push the speed limit maybe as much as I should have. But I beat the 23 out. So we got two sets of tires left. I would expect that guy who stayed out is going to pit. Behind the double zero. And I think Michael Snow is getting his lap back, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or did he get his lap back already? Hurry, I'm trying to pit. Yeah, he's back on his lead We're lap, done. so that's good. And four, thank you. Yep, the guy who stayed out to lead a lap is pitting now. I think I'll be ninth or tenth. Looks like eight. All right. That was some seriously intense racing. That was fun. Looking forward for to uh, a little more of it, to uh, or a lot more of it. We're only halfway through. First two stages down. We got half the race left to go, though. Um. Here's the question. If it goes green, can we make it on fuel? <clears throat> You'll be lining up behind the double zero. It's going to be a 45 lap run on fuel, which might actually be close. These cars, you know, it's a 15 gallon fuel tank. <laughs> Don't take new tires home. It all depends on, um, we'll see. We shall see if we need gas. But we'll know by the time it's time to pit. Um, yeah, I took a set of new tires home at Vegas. So I missed on the strategy there, but I got, I got two sets for this final stage here. Um, let's 
So we'll see when we want to use them. We're on one to, one go. to green. Be on the outside. And just like at the start of this race, I'm restarting on the one outside behind the 65 six, with an eight six. next to my name. Difference is, is that we're both 10 spots further up in the field than we were at that time. So, yeah, I mean, when we get about halfway through this stage, so that'll be like lap 22, 23, maybe 25, we'll see. You know, the people who decide to split it in two, that's when they'll pit. <laughs> there might be a caution in this stage, we'll see. Can we uh, catch the field, please? Just saving a little bit of gas. A little bit of I save here under yellow might be the difference. I'll stay hydrated, but I think I'm doing fine. Thank you for the reminder, though. But it looks good. Yeah, we're about halfway through. We're in good shape. All right, getting ready for the restart. Final stage is starting. We got 45 laps to go. And we're away. Go get that next one. Yeah, push, push, push. Right out to the wall, holding eighth spot for now. Didn't get on the uh, gas properly there coming off four and I lost a bit of time. I don't want to lose that draft. I have to make sure that I pick up the uh, exit of this corner a lot better than that one I did last time there. What is that? There we go. A nice save. Taking it a little bit easy on tires and fuel early in this run. This is a much longer run, potentially, on both. Gonna keep an eye on the fuel numbers as we get close to uh, the pit window. Got on the gas too early there. That was a mistake. 23's got to run. Go there. Good low game. Try to side draft. Son of a gun. Still there. Clear of power. We need it. One inside. Clear. Thank you, bud. Clear. Let's just tuck right up on his uh, bumper. 42. <laughs> A lot of laps left, but I have not been quite on my marks here early, which is why I dropped back a spot. I mean, we'll see. Right now, my fuel's still 10 laps to the good, so if it's close, you use less fuel at the end of the run than you do at the beginning. Going well, Hard Rocker. Going very well. You guys will actually probably be able to know better than I do 
uh, because you've got the fuel calculator over there on the screen. You'll be able to tell me if I'm in good shape on fuel or not. I mean, if it's really close, I can save a little bit at the end of the run. If it stays green, I'll probably stay out and try to make it. Kind of interesting how the stages worked out where they built in a fuel mileage race with the, the way that they were positioned. Potentially. Oh, seven and a half laps short? Yeah. So, in that case, I'll plan on pitting. <laughs> That's a lot to save. And we'll probably pit right around lap 75. Now, if the caution were to come out right now, I'd pit because we could make it to the end. We're in our window. <laughs> That's right, Mike. I will try. Not getting the run off of these corners that I need. Although I think I'm saving a little bit of tire on some of these guys. We'll see. I might be able to work uh, back up to them as the tires wear out. Gerald Campbell's just gone, though. I don't know how I got in front of Kyle Kammer. He's one of the really fast guys in this league. Whew. I don't know why the 18's coming out of the pits. Did he short pit? That is a crazy strategy right there if that's what he's doing. Probably pit in about 10 laps. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I felt like I was getting to the gas a little bit too early when I was trying too hard to race those guys earlier in the run. Settling in, feel like I've got a better line now. Did Gerald just get loose coming off the corner there? Kyle Cameron got right to my bumper, but I was able to pull him on corner exit. It's like you said, Mike, you gotta wait a little bit longer to get back to the throttle and it pays off dividends. Plus I'm saving my tires. Although we're pitting in about 10 laps, so I should actually go ahead and use them up. Ooh. They're all fanning out. Gerald Campbell's in trouble, big trouble. Oh goodness, what has happened to Gerald Campbell? All right.
Gerald hit the wall or did he just get super loose coming off of that corner? He dropped like a rock. Oh, he did get the wall. And he's got damage. Drove it in the turn a little bit too hard there. Got a good run coming on corner exit though. A lot of momentum, a lot of speed. Outside, to the inside. Outside. Door outside. Still outside on your corner. Still outside. Come on, Josh. You are clear. Clear. Let's see. Yeah, definitely don't have enough fuel, so. I told you, when, once we got close to thinking about the pit window, we'd know whether we would be able to make it or not. And it is uh, clearly not there. I would say in about six laps is when the pit window is going to open. Here we are, up to 7th. Now let's see if we can run down this front pack. Man, they're racing hard. How fun is this? Honestly, how much fun is this? This is awesome. Seriously fun stuff. Look at him up there, three wide. One day, okay. Seventy laps complete. We've got thirty to go. Eight tenths of a second up to the 65, nine tenths to fifth place. And the set that's the seven. They're getting all kinds of squirrely. Kyle Cameron's right on my bumper. He's been on my bumper this entire run, but hasn't been able to get by me yet. Keeps taking a peek, but there hasn't been anything there yet. 17 short pitting. Ed is well short. Closing in on these guys. Camber's been right on my bumper this whole run. I know one thing's for sure. I'm not going to pit while I'm gaining on them. I've saved my tires. They'll probably pit before me. I'll probably pit in about four laps. That basically splits this last run right into two equal parts. Still there. Still there. Still there. Yeah, to save fuel, it might have been doable, but I would have had to just really commit to doing it for the entire run. gotten past me. Inside. Still there. You're clear. Let's 
74. Tire's starting to fade a little bit. I just got past. Got a gap behind me. It's going to be 25 laps to go. 27 pitting this lap. We'll pit a little bit short and see if we drag anyone else with us. And while my momentum is going backwards rather than forwards. Stay high, stay high, Mike. <laughs> Camera came in right with me. He didn't want to give well, me an advantage. Know, that's all right. In pitting. my stall. Thirteen pitting. Pitting in. Oh, yeah, they're pitting all pitting. In. Double zero pitting. That's it, go! Leader pit road. All right. Apparently there's no rule about merging early. His camera did it. Thank you, Mike. And we'll see where this uh, puts us out. If we can get a good outlap, we might be able to leapfrog some guys. They'll have a lap better tires than us for the rest of the race, but we'll get one lap where we're substantially faster than them. There they are. They're all getting out of pit road right now. Alright, so we're right behind the 11 now. <laughs> Looks like, yeah. Looks like that's worked for now. End it. <laughs> they might. They've only got one lap better on my tires than me on tires, so I might be able to hold them off. I've been taking care of my tires pretty well with uh, the line that I'm running. It's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out as this thing comes down to it. The 11 looks like he's driving in super hard. Whew. Inside, inside. All right. We have to race with these boys now. Hey, Art of Grunt, thank you for the host, man. Much appreciated. Door to 
Labrador racing with Kyle Kammer, right behind Gabriel Wood. I want to make a name for myself in this league. These are the names that I got to race with. And try to beat. Tried to do a crossover move, didn't time it right. Tenth right now, but I think I shake out sixth if this thing plays out. I'm gonna say that was pretty beautiful how like the entire top seven hit it at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, that was great. This is going to be a good race to watch. Get back to the throttle. We still got a set of tires in the bank, so if another caution comes out late... Come on, man. And get it. Yeah, I figure those guys are... If they can't make it, they're basically praying for a caution to come out at this point. Yep. And I'm hoping that they are disappointed. Now, here's the other question. I'm on the lead lap. Okay, that's good. Man, Cluel. I just, I end up racing around Mark Cluel all the time. He's just, we're just right together. Does not matter what track, where, what time of the race it is. It's just we're always right next to each other. Uh, picked up the throttle too early again. I'm going to lose two spots because I messed up my exit. Thank you for the follow, Silver Motorsports. Much appreciated. As I go to the inside of the seven. It's for 11th right now, but it'll be for more than that as this race continues to play out. to go. There we go. Got to run. Back to the gas early enough that time, dang it. That was too much, too much pedal. Focus, let's see if I can run these guys down. Is the 41 one of those guys that uh, was that has been staying out? Because he looks deathly slow.
Yeah, okay. Saying thank you to him, it's not like he's got a choice. So that tells us that the fuel strategy definitely wouldn't have worked. Either way. Those guys were just too slow on those old tires. And we're back into the top ten. Looks like the 5 might be another one of those that is still not pitted. Dilly Dilly. <laughs> dilly Dilly. All right. Nice and easy. Very good. I can get over here. Up. Go by the five next. Outside. Seven. Outside. Here, high. That puts us up to ninth place. Okay, so we got one more guy on uh, old tires who's the leader. He's been the one to execute this strategy the best so far, that's for sure. Staying low. He's a lot further in front of us than the other guys were. Three, point one, six, one. Great job, man. Time to go. So I'm running ninth. That's about where we've been running all race. I mean, or about as well as we've been running. It'll cycle out to eighth when the leader pits. Yeah, he's 20 seconds ahead, but I'm sure he's gonna have to stop. He's just hoping for a caution. Unless he's really been saving fuel on this whole run. You'd have to be committed. Like you guys said, we were seven and a half laps short. Oh yeah. He's got to try to yeah. go as far as he can go, but pretty sure that thing's going to run out. Banged up tire. Banged up fender and tires. Yeah. No, it, absolutely. If the caution comes out, we'll all pit. Neither am I. Yeah, but if he's running that fast, I'm sure he's going to run out. I'm not fast enough to keep up with or catch these guys here right now. So, I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't mind a caution, too. Up oh, there he goes. He pits. I told you he couldn't make it. Uh oh! Don't come back up, Kyle. Don't come back up. Stay to the high side. Caution. Woo! Caution. Uh, and he pitted, and then the caution came out. Wow! Hope Kyle was able to save that. That was interesting. Pitted a lap too soon. Well, no. Oh my ad. No, he's in great shape. I'm sorry. That just worked out perfectly for him because what's going to happen? He'll stay on the lead lap. He's got his tires. We're all going to have to pit. He'll be the leader. How you doing, Kyle? Unless he goes a lap down, that worked out I'll perfectly. Catch, catch up. 
He got into the wall, and I was in a position where I could not. No, he's fine. He's golden. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, he's golden. He'll be leading this race. We all have to pit. He's going to lead this. He's going to be leading this race. He's, that, that, that strategy just worked out. Could not have worked out better for him. Yeah, I'm coming in. I'm coming inside. Inside. No fuel, no tear off. Come around in 88. I mean, unless it's just going to be, there are only like four laps to go. So, I mean, some guys might try to stay out. I'm pitting. I know that much. He's golden for the, the, the guy who stayed out and pitted right before that caution came out is golden because we're all pitting. He'll be the first car on on tires because he doesn't have to pit again. I think that's going to be a race winning move potentially. Kudos to him on the strategy play. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to work for Trey. He'll be dropping like a rock. If a few guys stayed with him, maybe. That pit, go. Why is someone spinning on pit road behind me? You're gonna be lining up. All right. That wasn't that bad of a was it, Josh? Yeah, I think we're there for the road. Lining up behind. All right, so tires were good there. Oh yeah, yeah. Tur Turner is in good shape. I thought. I think. Is he not? Did he pit again? Can't imagine that he would have pitted again. Yeah, Josh Turner is in great shape. I think. Let's see how this goes, but he looks like he's in fantastic shape right now. Oh, Mike, come on. <laughs> uh, trust me, Kyle Cameron would not be doing that. Kyle Cameron's trying to win the race. He's not trying to sacrifice himself for someone else. Yeah, he's fourth, but I think he's got the best tires. I think he's got a lot better tires than those guys. It is going to be a, uh, looks like a green-white checkered two-lap shootout to decide this thing. Yeah, so, I mean, in two laps, he's going to fly right past those cars with old tires. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but... Hey, uh, Kyle, uh, Race Control Kyle, if the number of precautions comes out before the white flag, we do the green white checker, just GRC will Okay, Michael took two. To the finishing order I don't think those will work too well. Yeah, that's right, and they do green white checkered in this series. I think it's one attempt. And how many start the green white checkered again? Just so everybody's clear on that. Yep, we do one attempt, and it's only before the top ten. Oh, so we got to get in the top ten if there's a green-white checkered. I don't want to be iced out of that. Favorite track to race at? Dover. Dover, Darlington. And love those tracks. Let's restart one. Be on the inside. Let's go. One minute forty-one point zero zero seven. And once we get the white. Yep, the and those those guys are both hard-nosed racers. This is going to be an interesting restart because the 
you know, like they just said on race control, a green white checkered's the top 10 only. So we need to get a spot before a caution comes out. I really don't like that rule. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. But I, I, part of the reason I don't, I, I might like it fine if I'm in the top 10. I'm not going to like it if I'm outside of it. I don't know why they're laying back so far on the inside line. Let's get bunched up, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's tighten up. Tighten up, inside line. Double check your car wheel. Come on. Double check your seatbelt. Sure, it's okay. That's fun. All right, my man. Pace car's off. Be ready. Dang it. Oh, that's not what we wanted. No caution. Come on. No caution. No caution. Don't do this to me. Give me time to at least try. Those guys on old tires are falling back. They're wrecking. So what you got going on out there, bud? I'm in 10th. Please don't tell me I have to give those spots back. Behind the 65. Alright, guys, remember we're going green after the completion of lap 100. We'll follow the pace car around and it'll, it'll dive into pit road. So, the top 10, once the race is over, double up for the restart. Everyone else but who gets top 10? Thank you. But who gets top 10? White flag. We're looking at it. We're looking at it. Just give us a second. You can cross the line. I thought it was top 15. I just don't I understand why they do that. Because I was in it. They all said it right before that freaking restart. Open your ears. Yeah, I know. That's we we know. We're just we're just pleading. Get behind the 16. Get be lining up behind the 17. Michael, cool. I think they're just joking, man. Get behind the 65. I'm not joking. I mean, I missed the wreck, and then I'm racing just made me give two spots back to guys who were involved in the wreck, so. Are we racing this time? No. Guys, we'll double it up right here. Open. Top open. I understand that some people wrecked and they're getting their spots back. When you cross the line, you'll see what the top ten is. If your, thing, if your position says you're not in the top ten, you're off the track. I'm out. Unbelievable. That's really annoying. That's so frustrating. This is literally the first time we've had to do this, so if there's a kink, we'll work it out, but that's what we're going to have to do for this time. Check this time. I mean, y'all should just get rid of that top 10 rule. Alright, man, let's go hard drive, man. 62. Uh, I was on the bottom. There was a guy that spun around him in front of him, but he did not cause that spin. 65 was spun way after the caution, after you guys were already doing that. That was not either of those two uh, that were quote unquote involved in the initial caution. Yeah, real quick question. Uh, I slowed down for the 10 to come back around me before start finish. He slowed down to intentionally not let me catch back up to him. I should have been finishing Pete. Hey, we're all green right here. If you're not top 10, get off track. We'll address this after. Thank you. Whatever. Thank you. That's a, that's a terrible rule. Go, D'Amico. Get up there. Don't get excited, buddy. I'm going to push your ass to the win right now. Temple. That was a lot of fun. It's two laps, guys. Just Vegas, missed it. Yeah, it's a terrible rule. I'll 
I'll, ta I'll just wait to talk with him after the race, but I mean, that's BS. Iced out of the top ten. Just uh, take those dump cans right over by the height sticks over there, okay? That stinks. Cool. Yep. That's exactly what happened. So we got iced out because of a silly rule. Um, all right, we'll watch the uh, Gerald Campbell here is leading. Coming to get the white flag. That's a challenge from uh, Tanner to the inside. Campbell still got first. I mean, the guys who stayed out and on old tires and caused the yellow, they still get to stay in the top ten. The, it's so whatever. You end up with, uh, you know, there's a guy way back there that I saw in the shot who isn't competitive because he was either involved in the wreck or didn't have tires. Check it out the line, guys. Check it out the line. No. They would have they would have DQ'd me if I'd done that. Good race, guys. Yeah, good race. Hey, anyone that's still in here that, you know, that we had that mishap. I know some guys wrecked and you had to check up, but like, we can't, we can't, we can't fix that stuff on the fly like that. You know, we're going to, when we're doing things that no one else is doing, we're going to come across issues like that as they happen. We'll fix it. I'm going to look at it and figure out a way to, to adjust that going forward. But so sorry if that affected you negatively, but things happen real fast. We got to, we got to kind of take care of them. So I appreciate you, everybody coming out here and running. We're doing stuff that no one else is doing, so. I appreciate that. I mean, my only thing to say on that would be just don't, it like, you're putting yourself in a box by limiting the top, limiting it to the top 10 on a green-white checker. Just get rid of that, and there's no problem. Eight-lap old tire, so it was not as sticky as his, and, man, I, I, I was hoping we'd go side-by-side side to the finish. Nice win. I had you on the outside, but I, I didn't want to wreck you. I'll see you guys next week. I didn't want to be on like that. Yeah, you guys on older tires checked up hard on the bottom and it back to follow up, and I ended up getting into somebody, and uh, that was uh, a tough restart out there. Good job, everybody. Great win there, Gerald. Nice job. Yeah, I mean, this league does fix stuff. They, they had an issue last week with the stage racing. They fixed it this week. They're going to look at this now, and then they'll fix it. Um, huh. <laughs> well, I mean, with, with guys staying out on old tires, they're going to, I don't know. I believe I'm on Discord, so they can't interview me this time. All right, so we'll go back a couple laps and see that wreck. Oh, let's see. I mean, I did. I thought I did a really good job getting around. Man, Clue doesn't even have the dang banner on his car. So, here we go. The 24 turns around. I mean, the 24 loses it is on his own into the 62. I understand that's not the 62's fault. But, you know, I mean, NASCAR, the way that the rule works in NASCAR is that if you, you get to hold your position as long as you can maintain speed. These two didn't maintain speed. Oh, the 23 got into the 65. Yeah. You know what, honestly, I mean, 62 didn't do anything wrong. Um, 
the 65 got run over by the from the 23. So I understand it. It's fine. I'm I'm good on that uh, ruling. You know, as the rule as written, I just think that it's frustrating that they write the rule that way. Um, but they'll address it, and hopefully they'll just open it up so that on green-white checkered, it's just everybody. We got 11th, so I think that that's still going to be some solid points. We got the one stage point. Um, we're competitive. Cal Auto Club is not one of my best tracks. Whew. So that was fun. And uh, Mike, by the way, I don't know if you can see it here but your name is uh, right there in the week two spot so right now uh, Photon No is leading the uh, bet leaderboard and uh, he'll get up there for week three fun race really like running this series disappointed that I didn't get a top 10 because I felt like I had top 10 speed all race um, but yeah so, uh, thank you guys. That was a lot of fun. I mean, I agree with all that. But like I said, these guys will work that out. Um, they're really responsive to, you know, addressing uh, rule issues as they come up. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, save this. Here's the results. Finished 11th. Um, very interesting clean race that was a lot of fun Whew. heck of a race